Hello there and thanks for joining me today. This is Barb with barbstamps.com and today I've got about 40 cards to show you and they all use uh, products from the Party Animal Suite. Now the majority of them are going to be using the Balloon Adventures bundle which is the Balloon Adventures stamp set, balloon pop-up thimlets dies and about half of them use the Party Animal Designer Series paper. Uh, we've got the Emerald Envy Taffeta Ribbon, the Party Animal Embellishments, and the Party Animal Designer Washi Tape that are also in this suite of products that you can use to create some amazing, amazing cards. We've got the Balloon Adventures stamp set, which has all these images in the set, and it's got these three balloons, and all the balloons can be punched out with our balloon punch. That's a two size punch and the balloons in this particular uh, stamp set use the larger balloon. The balloon punch also matches the balloon die that comes in the framelit set. So you can you could punch a solid balloon out and then you could die cut a detailed die, put them together and they make awesome balloons. And I do have some cards that will show you that. We've also got this piece here that cuts a pattern for the inside of a card so that when you open the card this is what you see. You've got the detail here with the balloons, the banner, the little bow at the bottom and then you can stamp some images from the stamp set inside here along with the balloons if you wish. You can die cut some balloons. Just so much fun with this set. We've also got this little piece that makes a tag so you'd run it through. This tag is two inches wide. You'd run it through. It puts the score line in there, the little holes, and then you can make yourself a cute little tag. These two pieces were kind of designed to go together but they can be used separately. So this piece here also works with a two inch strip of cardstock to make um, like the present topper, a little present topper bow on there. And then this little guy cuts out the bow that can be used, you know, with anything else, but it also can be used to place right over the top of this one. So you have like a two-tone balloon or two-tone bow. Isn't that awesome? We've also got, like I said, the two balloon dies, a little tiny bow, and that little tiny bow, when you die cut it, can fit right here on that piece or you can use it by itself on the edges of balloons. There's just so many fun things you can do and then we have uh, like a balloon string. All right so let's go ahead and start getting these cards in here. The first that I'm going to show you um, use the designer series paper that I talked about the party animal and here we go. So this one's got the polka dot uh, designer series paper on the back. Three punched out balloons. So they were all stamped with the images in the stamp set, punched out with the punch. We've got some of the Emerald Envy ribbon there. And then one of those adorable little party animal embellishments tied on the side. And then we've just got some more of that paper on the inside. Next, we have this one that also uses uh, some of that paper. This is kind of the present pattern. We've got the die cut circles here from the layering circle framelits, the scallop, and then another one of those little party animal embellishments. This one also uses some of our Emerald Envy twine. This is not actually um, part of the suite, but it's in the main catalog and it coordinates wonderfully. And then we've just got a greeting in here that says it's time to celebrate from the Party with Cake stamp set from the big catalog. Moving on, this one uses the candle, uh, designer, the paper that's got the candles on it, along with the candle border punch, very cool. And then we've got the Celebrate in here, which is an item from the Occasions Catalog. It's a set of two folders, and it's called the Celebrations Duo Textured Impressions Embossing Folder. So it actually impresses the word onto the cardstock, so that's really cool. Moving on to this card, we've got just two punched out balloons. We've got a couple of these little embellishments from the uh, Bright's Enameled Dots collection. We've got a stitched shape oval here layered on one of the layering ovals framelits. A little strip of designer series paper. And then you open it up and there's just a little strip of washi tape in there to kind of give it a little bit of pizzazz. Next, we have this one where uh, the balloons are done like I told you where the solid balloon in the back was punched out with the punch and then these detailed balloons were cropped with the dies and then they were just glued to the top of the solid balloons and here's that tiny little bow that we talked about that came in the die set along with the little bow tied from the Emerald Envy taffeta ribbon a little piece of the washi tape right here the super skinny stuff and then the polka dot uh, paper on the uh, moving on to this one. So this one's got the paper down the center of the card. We've got a bow tied with the Emerald Envy ribbon. And then, oops, this little guy is hiding behind 
my circles. So we've got the stitched circle framelit here that goes around the greeting that's also in the stamp set here. And then we've got the circle, uh, scallop circle in the back. I'm going to move that. I'm seeing a glare. Sorry about that. Um, then on the inside of this card, it's just got a white layer, uh, another greeting from that designer, designer tin of cards, not tin of tags uh, stamp set where you also get the star and this little flourish. That's in the big catalog. Next, we've got this card here that uses one of the balloon images from the stamp set and the balloon punch. And then we've got the lots of labels, one of the lots of labels here. And then this adorable little embellishment, party animal embellishments, and the candle paper on the back. Open it up, and this one is blank. This one, we've got the present paper here, two balloons that were punched out, and then they were embossed with the elegant dots embossing folder and the big shot. Uh, the little uh, strings for the balloons come in the stamp set. And then on the inside, we've got that BYOP uh, stamp set again, and then a, a fake gift card. Next up is this card that uses the Party Animal washi tape. Uh, there are five different washi tapes in this collection, and there are three used on this card. So there's this really uh, cool star pattern, the plus pattern, and then this super skinny little diagonal stripe pattern. And so pieces were just uh, placed across the Whisper White layer, uh, wrapped around to the back, and then that was layered onto a piece of Tangerine Tango got the banner here that was hand cut with some paper snips, a little bow with the Emerald Envy taffeta ribbon, and then that cool bow that's uh, a die in the set. Other, uh, lots of labels, tag, designer series paper here. On the inside we've got a graduation greeting from the BYOP stamp set, and then this cute little uh, graduation cap done with the uh, badge punch. So that's the badge punch upside down there and then just a little enamel shape. Great card. This next one has some more die cut balloons and a punched balloon along with some of the washi tape from the Nailed It uh, collection with the tools and everything. Uh, the large greeting from the balloon stamp set that we're using on the um, outside here and then some of the designer series paper. Moving on to this card. So it has a tiny, tiny little strip of the designer series paper here, but it looks great. Uh, the balloons are just stamped randomly across the card, and then the image is cropped with the stitched shape framelits, one of the ovals that's in that stamp set. And then the inside just has some confetti and a Let's Celebrate greeting. Uh, this card here, we've got the Hexagons Dynamic Textured Impressions Embossing Folder. Wow, that's hard to say. Um, with a two and a half inch circle punch back here and you can just really see that folder just gives the most amazing 3D uh, effect. It's just incredible. Uh, the balloon, the green in the back was punched out with the punch, the blue on the top was die cut, that little tiny bow we talked about, and here's some more of that um, Emerald Envy twine that you can purchase. And then the it's time to celebrate greeting on the inside from the party with cake again. This one also uses some of the papers to create a present, quote unquote. And then we've got that fold bow on the back here, one of the little party animal embellishments, some of the designer series paper. And then when you open this one up, you've got that awesome, awesome big die from uh, the main die that's in the set here. And then you can stamp images on there. These are some die cut balloons that are glued on and then a stamped balloon also. This card is mostly crushed curry and I just really, really like this. Uh, the balloons were all punched out of the designer series paper. We've got a bunch of confetti down here. The let's celebrate greeting on the front. We've got some oval uh, dies here. We've got the stitched shape oval. We've got a scallop oval and a solid oval. There's a lot of layering here. And then on the inside, we've got our main greeting with a little bit of the designer series paper to kind of give that inside a pop. This card here uses the happy uh, die cut from the Hello You Thinlets. A little banner here with the birthday greeting, the candle punch used all along the border, and then the silver glimmer paper behind there. This thing really sparkles. Some of that uh, Emerald NB taffeta ribbon just ties it all together. And on the inside, we've got some more of the designer series paper and the Let's Celebrate greeting. We're going to move on to the cards now that don't use the Party Animal Designer Series paper, um, but they do use, of course, the stamps and the dies. So this is a really cool card. It's the Got the Sending Love Designer Series paper here. Great way to use that when it's not Valentine's Day anymore. A couple of the balloons. This one was stamped and punched. We've got the punched balloon in the back, the die cut balloon in the front, uh, trimmed off banner. We've got some black baker's twine here for some balloon tails. And then we've got a greeting from the party with cake stamp set in the middle and the piece of the cake. And uh, there's some Wink Stella on there that makes that sparkle really cool. 
All right, moving on, we've got this one done with Fleur de Flamingo, and we've got that same embossing folder that does the word celebrate here, and then the balloons were just stamped over the top of the celebrate greeting. We've got some confetti all over in the back with smoky slate, some of the Fleur de Flamingo ruched ribbon, and then some of the enamel stars. This one uses the Carried Away Designer Series paper that's a celebration item uh, through the end of March, and it's also got one of the party animal embellishments. And then you open it up and you've got that amazing die in the middle here. I just love this thing with the stamped balloons and then some more of the designer series paper on the sides there. Ooh, I love this cover color combination. This is a Bermuda Bay and the Peekaboo Peach. And we've got some tiny little stars punched out with the uh, stars border punch. A little strip of silver glimmer paper on the side here. The Bermuda Bay sequins. A little knot of the peekaboo peach ruched ribbon and now this big greeting in the stamp set you can also uh, color in the phrase another year so that's another way to just add more color and pop to these things it's amazing and this one also has the inside I just love this thing with a little bit of washi tape holding that down moving on to this one this one uses some of the uh, glimmer paper that is for celebration also it's the sweet sugar plum and it's so pretty oh, I just realized I have a bunch of ink on my hands I'm sorry um, the greetings here were cropped with some of the scallop oval framelits, some of the sweet sugar plum ruched ribbon, the elegant dots folder on the back there. Uh, we got that die cut balloon on the inside with that glimmer paper and then our greeting. And you can see that the ribbon was actually wrapped around um, the front of the card here. You can just snip a little hole in your fold and then you can run your ribbon through. So that's a cool way to do ribbon. This card uses crumb cake, and I really like this, and it's just got the balloons randomly stamped on the back, a little bit of the uh, Foxy Designer Series paper, greeting in the middle there, and then some of the copper thread. I wonder if you can see that. It's really cool. And then we've just got the greeting stamped in the middle. That one is very simple. Here's another one that uses the Fox stamp set. Look at that. It made the balloons into cats. I just love this. A little bit of splatter you can do here with a paintbrush and some water and some ink. And then the greeting there. And then some more balloons on the inside. Another pretty simple card. Love it. This one is very, very colorful. Lots of different colors used on this one for the balloons. And we've got the balloon string stamped on there. Uh, some more balloons on the inside of the card with the greeting. All right, this one here, we've got some of the designer series paper. Oh, I lie, this one does have the designer series paper. It's got a couple of the scallops cropped out with the uh, layering or scallops, yeah, scallop ovals, the layering ovals. Uh, we've got some of these little crushed curry enamel dots, the punched balloon, die cut balloon, stamped balloon, lots of balloons, and then some balloons on the inside. I just love these balloon strings. They're so cool. I could never draw a balloon string like that. All right, next up, we've got a really lovely pink card. So we've got some die cut balloons with some white baker's twine on the front here with the strings. And then we've got that great die on the inside and then some washi tape. This one's in the big catalog, and I think it's from oh, the Arty, Artsy uh, collection. All right, I'm going to bring this card in. This is a baby card that's got the balloon on it, and this is this card that is done with one of our host sets in the back of the big catalog. This one's called Love You Lots. So we've got the elephant right here, and he was just fussy cut and added to the card with the falling petals folder in the back. That's from the Occasions catalog right now. You can get that. We've got the banner right there, and then we've got So Happy to Hear About Your Great News. Congrats. Fun baby card. All right, so here is another birthday card using the large numbers uh, stamp set and the reverse words from Celebration. We've got some sequins all over the place. Um, the greeting on here, and like you can see that it was colored in, and so that really pops with the 2017. And then we have the inside here with more balloons and some of the designer series paper. All right, our next one here has got some Sweet Sugar Plum, Blushing Bride, and Rich Raspberry. This one also uses the Sparkle Textured Impressions Embossing Folder, along with a lots of labels. And the greetings just stamped on there, some Blushing Bride sequins. And you open it up, and you've got that awesome die again with that same washi tape we just saw on that other card. And our balloons are all stamped on there, and our greeting, and a little bit of confetti in the corners. All right, this one also uses the Carried Away Designer Series paper, but this one... When you run this through the Big Shot, you can actually cut out this design, and that's what's done here. So these little pieces were just taken out. See, they were just snipped out of the middle of this card. 
and then you can put it on the front of a card and then she just added balloons like so she's got the peekaboo peach color here that she ran through with the big die and then she just stamped and punched all these balloons and these are all done with watermelon wonder got the greeting there and then a little calypso coral bow got some sequin trim hanging off the top here with some white baker's twine and then we've just got a simple balloon and the greeting on the inside love that idea Here's another real colorful one full of balloons. This one uses the Night and Navy Baker's Twine and the Carried Away Designer Series paper, the celebration item. Lots of colorful balloons, some popped up, some just stamped. And then just a simple, hope your birthday is on cloud nine. Happy birthday greeting. All right, this next batch of cards, the final batch, is all uh, what I like to call fancy folds or, you know, fun technique type cards. So this one, I'm not sure what you call this, but I will stand up. Um, on a table or a desk after the recipient receives it. So it just kind of pulls out like this, very cool. So it's got some of the designer series paper, a double bow at the top here. I use the Project Life uh, corner punch to round off the corners on these things. A little tiny star, a little strip of cardstock there, and then on the back side is where you could write your greeting. So I will have a video on this card coming up. This is kind of a fun fold. It's just uh, just a few layers, so it's a like a card front, a four and a quarter by five and a half piece of cardstock here. And then these little panels are, this one's glued in the middle. This one kind of covers that so you don't really see it. And then you've got the top panel that flips up. So that's fun. Here is a shaker card, very cool, using this piece where you would die cut that out. And then you would attach it with your um, adhesive, foam adhesive strips, add your sequins in there, some designer series paper in the background to kind of give it some fun uh, patterns. We've got the balloons, some punched, some die cut, and then we have some more of the designer series paper on the inside and the green. Here's another kind of cool fold. Again, I don't even know what this one's called either, but this is a very cool one. Uses the designer series paper. We've got a lot of the balloons up here all kind of glued together, so that makes a very fun card for someone. This one is kind of a take on a box card where you use the die on the center here. And then this one has the gold glimmer paper balloons, a little gold glimmer bow. And then the front has some more gold and some of the layering um, ovals and some designer series paper. I actually have a few of those. Here's another one of that exact same type of card. This one got the designer series paper in the background though. And then on the front, we've got the silver glimmer paper, some of the little rhinestones, punched out balloons, designer series paper down the side there, a uh, little bow with a rhinestone in the center, super cute, and then the balloons. And then we've got this one where we've got the balloons on the front with the little bows and some rhinestones, and it kind of, it just opens up like this. So you've got your greeting kind of in a window, but no window sheet behind there. And then you just flip that up and there you have it. Fun. Uh, these last few cards are cards that I've done lately using the wiper card technique. And I just think these are so amazing. And I do have a video for this. So I will link that right up here for you. So you can check that out. Very cool. There's one of them. Here's another one. These are so much fun. Here's one where we've got the festive birthday cactus and the glimmer paper from Celebration in there. And then here we've got one for somebody in my family that's going to be turning 16 pretty soon. So shh, don't tell her. She's going to love it. All right, guys, that's all that I have for you today. I, like I said, I've got about 40 or so cards here. Here they all are. I'm going to put some of them up on my blog so you can check them out at barbstamps.com. Otherwise, just come back to the video again and check them out. As always, if you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. I love seeing that. That lets me know that you're enjoying what I'm doing here for you. Um, if you need to order your own Balloon Adventures bundle, shoppingwithbarb.com is my website, and I do offer free gifts with purchase. Check that out on my blog. So that's it. Have a wonderful, wonderful day.